Dave here, and I'm gonna give you 10 bushcraft kit items that are cheap and that I use on a regular basis on my trips out in the wilderness. Number one, Mora 511. This guy can easily go between $10, $15, depending where and when and how you get it. This is one of the cheapest budget bushcraft knives that you can get, and I highly recommend it. It can be a companion alongside an ax and be your main knife if you have a hatchet. Really, it actually could be a main knife if you have a hatchet. Even though it's not full tang, it's nice and thin. It's got decent edge retention. And if you have a better full tang knife, this can easily fit in your bag as your backup. Number two, a cheap folding saw. This happens to be a Coughlin brand cheap folding saw. I think I paid like $11 for this and it will saw. And there's a lot of garden saws that you can find at your local hardware store that are between $10, $20, maybe $30 at the max. You can find and pick up these saws and they will do the job uh, good enough for you to do an overnight with. I, I've taken this out on trips before. It's light and it's not that bad at sawing for the price. Number three, a life straw. I've also taken this out on trips. It's a very quick and convenient way, very inexpensive, good for hiking very easy to throw in a bag, super light. Number four, this is a pocket bellow, I believe they're called. This is so you can blow into a fire and put a direct stream of air right into the coals. I was skeptical about one of these things until I purchased one and used it on my first overnight. This will always be in my bag. It's tiny and it's very convenient because you don't have to get very close in. This one is about three feet long. Make sure you get one that is about three feet long or longer so you can sit back blow into the fire and I found this to be very useful and a good bushcraft kit item for not that much money. Number five, dollar store fire starters. This comes in at a whopping 125 and you get 12 individual fire starters in this thing. This is a very cheap and inexpensive way for people who don't want to mess around doing feather sticks and trying to do it kind of like the natural way you could say and it makes starting fires super quick and easy and I often use this trick nowadays because I just don't have the time when I'm filming building my shelters and stuff that I find if I just use one of these, it gets the fire going, I can get a nice warm drink, get my food cooking. It just cuts out so much time. Number six, a bushcraft grill. This is a Drix Outdoors bushcraft grill. It comes in like a canvas. You might be only get this in the States. I've heavily used this for cooking and I, I really like them. They're cheap, you know, you can find one for maybe 20 bucks or you could make one out of a, you know, an old oven type of thing, one of the oven racks. I really like using these for cooking. It makes it super simple and they're very flat, easy to put into your bag. Highly recommend you get one of these bushcraft grills if you like cooking on the fire. Number seven, work sharp field guided sharpening system. <laughs> I can't remember what the actual name of this thing is. It's a field sharpener that has guides in it. It makes it super easy to touch up your knives and even your axes when you're on the go and it's not very big. You have two diamond stones on this. One is kind of coarse and one is fine and you have a strop up top. You can get your knives hair popping sharp with this little system here. You know, you can sharpen even fish hooks on it. You have some little ceramic areas here as well. Highly re recommend this guy. And I think this is the most expensive one on the list, maybe coming between 30 and $40. But for your sharpening on the go and at home, I often reach for this, even though I have more expensive systems at home. It's just quick, convenient, and it gets the job done. The diamond stones are also removable. So if you wanted to take your ax and, you know, kind of polish up an edge like that, it's very easy to do. Number eight. Next up is my cooking system, which is the Stanley Adventure Mug is the main feature that I would like to recommend. This is a great little camping pot, really. It holds a lot of fluid in here. I believe the up to the rim is 24 ounces or something. You can, I've cooked stews, I've cooked coffee. You can do a lot of stuff with this guy. And this tends to be my cooking system as I have the Stanley Mug and I have the lid from my Amazon mug that I can't remember the name of, I bought it years ago, but it nests inside the Amazon mug like so. And then I fold the lid over on top and that is my cooking system when I'm on the go. 
I tend not to bring pans. I will either use a grill and I'll use this for coffee and for stews. Number nine, more good stuff from the dollar store is jute twine and masonry twine. So here's a little bit of an extra one. Um, you can get both of these cordages at a dollar store. I believe I got these at Dollarama and the jute twine is a little bit thicker and the masonry twine is pretty damn strong and they are super cheap. They are $1.25 per roll. For those tasks that do not require paracord and require that weight that you're gonna be putting on the line, I will use these guys every time. They are more than good enough for the most basic jobs for tying up things and for your cordage uses in bushcraft. Number 10, another dollar store item that I would like to add to the list is my sit pad. That is just a basic knee pad. I've had this from the start of the channel. People have made fun of me for having this sit pad, but trust me, I get to sit on this log without getting my ass wet because I have this sit pad. It's very useful to put on the ground. You don't get your knees all banged up. When you're bushcrafting, it's very nice to have a comfortable place to put your knees down. If you've done it enough times, you realize the ground is rocky and not comfortable. Bringing a, a pad like this will help in a lot of scenarios and I double it up with my pillow, which happens to be a dollar store bath pillow that I've used day one from my channel. Both of these items have lasted the seven, eight years that I've had this channel and I still use them because they haven't broken on me. If you have any other recommendations for cheap bushcraft gear for the subscribers, put them down in the comments and make sure to leave a like. I hope you enjoyed this list of the 10 cheap bushcraft kit items that I recommend for you to check out. Please comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.